Hey guys, wish you all a very happy new year. I want to start the year by giving you three tips which have personally helped me to become a better analog design engineer. So let's begin. So my first tip is learning by doing. And that means you become analog engineer by doing analog. By far the best thing that you can do to become a better analog engineer is to join a live project. Learning by doing also means you don't just read books and papers, but you actually design it and see for yourself. So this year, don't just read the books, but design it, simulate it across corners, simulate Monte Carlo, simulate noise, try to break it. And this is how you get the real feel of the circuit. And when you do that, many times you realize that your initial understanding was incomplete or maybe wrong. Learning by doing also makes it stick to your memory. If you just read something, you'll forget it maybe in a week. But actually designing and simulating it will keep it in your memory for much longer. Okay, my second tip is get involved in silicon debug. So you have designed your circuit, you have simulated it exhaustively, but on silicon, it doesn't work quite as you expected. Maybe there was a parasitic BJT or a board component that you did not consider. Or maybe it was a corner case which got slipped from your verification matrix. Or maybe it was a thermal issue which you do not normally simulate. Silicon debugs are often very frustrating in the beginning. You don't know where to start, you don't know where to look for. Having a bug itself is quite depressing. But doing precisely these frustrating debugs is what makes you a real analog engineer. So next time a silicon debug opportunity comes your way, grab it with both your hands. My third and final tip is talk to other analog engineers. Talk to them about what they're doing, what problems they're facing, what interesting problem they're solving. There's no single way to do analog design. By talking to other engineers, you get to know other ways to look at the same problem. What I have personally found very useful is talking to others about my own understanding. I have found it useful in two ways. They are questioning and cross-questioning which you don't get when you just work alone. And second, when you explain something to others, you find gaps in your own understanding. And try to listen to what others are saying, even if it doesn't make sense or seems completely implausible. So go grab them near the coffee machine or arrange a dedicated session or even in design reviews. So this is all I have to say today. You have a great year ahead and see you later. Bye bye.